People who have come out of comas, what was the most jarring thing you learned to have happened while in a coma? My family was in a car accident when I was six months old. My dad was in a coma for two weeks. When he eventually woke up, he had to be informed that his infant daughter, me, was paralyzed in the accident and would most likely never walk again. I can't imagine how devastating that news would be, I'm almost glad I don't remember anything from then. My friend in elementary school was in a coma and woke up suddenly one day. All she would say was that she wanted a horse and all she would talk about was riding a horse. Not sure why that happened, she said at a later date that she'd never been on a horse before. Well anyway, her parents bought her a horse and she started barrel racing and was locally renowned for her skills. When my dad came out of his three-day coma, he switched from being right-handed to the left. Wild guess here, as I have only anecdotal knowledge of neurochemistry, but it's possible the area of his brain primarily responsible for hand coordination was acutely damaged. When a section of the brain suffers severe trauma, the brain repairs itself by wiring around the damaged section and reforming the severed connections between dendrites. If the connections used for his dominant hand were destroyed, or at least significantly damaged, the brain may have opted to reform the connections with his left hand. Just a wild guess, I would love to hear the theory of a real neurologist. My brother was in a motorcycle accident. He was in a coma for eight months. He lost a big portion of his brain and one of his eyes, as well as the sight in the one eye. When he woke up he kept asking me to turn the lights on again and again. I'll never forget his face when he realized he was blind. He's lucky to be alive though so we're thankful, and he's adjusting really well. My uncle was piloting a single-engine plane. Crashed. Broke many bones, screws, plates, casts, etc. Was in a short coma. Woke up not remembering anyone or any history. Had to be trained to walk, eat, tie his shoes. Years of rehab. Was an appliance repairman before the crash. Could fix anything. He retained only TWO things. His ability to repair anything, and his sarcasm. He's now 81 years old. Still a prick. My brother was in a coma for about a month and a half. It was a slow process for him to come to again, not like he just woke up, and that was it. He had no memories of his four-year-old son. He knew who he was, but no memories of him being born, his first steps, etc. I couldn't even imagine how hard that would be on not only him, but also his entire family. Imagine waking up one day, totally clueless, barely able to walk, and seeing somebody you don't even recognize, and then being told that that is your kid. Then there's the kid, who not only has to deal with his dad's coma, but then finds out he doesn't even recognize him after he comes to. Not me but my dad fell down the stairs and got serious head trauma, he was in a coma for a while and eventually came out of it a month or so later. At that point he remembered nothing of the past 40 or so years of his life. He thought my sister was his sister and didn't really know English anymore as he was originally from Finland. Of course he had no idea who I was or my mom was. He didn't live for much longer unfortunately. Was in a relationship with a girl for a year, and a week before we were supposed to move in together she got into a car accident and was in a coma. For days later she woke up, but without any memory of the previous two years of her life. She eventually remembered bits and pieces of things, but never me. I mean, as much as I would have liked to, it's pretty hard to have a meaningful relationship with someone when they don't know who you are. Though it was easy to prove that I had been her boyfriend, I didn't think it was healthy for her to have that extra stress, so I broke it off with her the next day. I stuck around to be supportive and hopefully rekindle things though. Turns out it's creepy when you know all of someone's deepest darkest secrets and they don't know you. A friend of mine's uncle wrecked his motorcycle broke nine ribs and was in a coma for two weeks. When he awoke he had to find out his wife passed away suddenly. Was in a coma 15 days, didn't know who wife and kids were, short-term memory was screwed for quite a while, 
when in the coma, I started to come around a few times and attack the nurses, I thought I was being held prisoner in a kitchen, all the equipment in the ICU. I was only out for a few days, but for me the most jarring news was that the car I was a passenger in flipped over my head was nearly crushed. I woke up and had no memory of it happening. Not me, but a friend. She was in a coma for over a month after a massive car accident, and when she woke up, was told that her parents had died. Due to the brain trauma, she didn't believe it slash would forget it, so it had to be repeated to her daily. It was heartbreaking. She's doing well now, but still has some lasting injuries, but otherwise lives a very happy, healthy, wonderful life. I had a very good friend come out of a meningitis coma on September 11th about 20 minutes after the first tower went down. His dad was so glued to the TV that he didn't even notice my friend was awake. This homeless girl I befriended told me she was born and raised in Louisiana. When Hurricane Katrina hit something happened to her and she was in a coma for two months. When she woke up she was told all her family was killed in the storm. A co-worker of mine got into an incredibly bad car accident on New Year's Eve, don't drive drunk, people, and lost her memory of the past four months before the accident. The most emotionally distressing thing was that during those four months, her and her boyfriend had broken up and had since moved on from each other. When she came to from her coma, it was really upsetting to see the person she was so in love with be with other people.